hello, hello. I am here on the plane loading Nespresso and dishes before my flight tomorrow. So tomorrow, early in the morning, we go from White Plains, New York to Dallas, Texas. It's an overnight, real quick trip. We go back to New York the following day. Well, hello again, you guys. I have a quick update for you. Uh, my trip actually ended up canceling, so I am not going from White Plains to Dallas anymore tomorrow. I'm not flying anymore tomorrow. I have the time off. Uh, I still wanna record a video though. I had actually been asked by someone who has been following my channel for a while if I can show you guys what I pack before I go on trips. And I was gonna use what I pack for my upcoming trip that just canceled to make that vlog for you. I have not unpacked from my island trip yet, so I'm going to show you what I packed for that crazy trip while I unpack it and do laundry and add it to my laundry pile that I've got going on behind me. So in turn, it's like a reverse unpacking to show you what I packed vlog, if that makes any sort of sense. Okay, here's the disaster that is my suitcase. I don't know yet the best way to show you guys um, everything that I got into here. So first we'll talk about packing cubes. I love these things, they saved my life. They help me cram tons of clothes. I was just on a five day trip where I had work clothes for five days and leisure clothes for five days and gym clothes. So everything was able to fit into my carry-on suitcase which I've had since I've flown at the airlines. It's just a travel pro. Um, it's really beat up, just ignore that. But I love this suitcase, it still works. I'm not getting another one. Can you say hi, Lola? The cats have joined me. All right, so I carry a medium size packing cube and a large size packing cube, and these just go right on top. The bottom of my suitcase always looks the same. I have, I stole this from a hotel, sorry hotels, but it's a hair dryer bag, as you can see. And I've got a pair of just some flip flops in there that you can't see, but I promise they're in there. So I just fold them up and put them in between like the support poles of my suitcase. So it lays flat in there. Then on top of my flip-flops, I always put my running shoes in. These are the same sneakers I always wear um, just because they're good for the gym. So next up, go sneakers. Next to my sneakers, I have workout leggings that just sit right there. And I use the roll technique to fold everything. So I've also got a sports bra that I shove into the sneakers to make room. It's a lot easier with two hands. And then I always roll in a couple pairs of socks that I shove into my shoes to keep my socks clean. Um, I'll reuse some of the workout clothes sometimes because I always shower right after. You can judge me if you want, it is what it is. And then I've got a shirt that I roll long ways and then I fold in half and that also gets shoved into the shoe until everything lays flat. Okay, so once my base layer is in like that, I also have little like booties. This way I don't have to walk around barefoot in the hotel and I'll take those out and wash them pretty often, um, but they're just in my suitcase right now. And then I have a plastic grocery bag. So in that bag, I have some dry deodorant, dry shampoo, I have an in shower self tanner. I go to a lot of Caribbean destinations, I like to be tan. I don't like the sun to get myself tan, so always carry that with me. And then just a good heavy face cream for the evenings. So I roll those into a grocery bag in case they explode, and then I shove them in front of my shoes. So that's what my first layer of stuff looks like before I add the packing cubes. Also, this is the most important thing as a corporate flight attendant that I've got with me are plastic bags because you can have them on board, but if you're on a layover and you need to get food from a hotel, these aren't going to do you any good unless you have them with you. That's what I keep in here along with, um, these are converters for international destinations. So my plugs will work, crest white strips, just a hodgepodge of junk. And then in this bigger pouch up front, if I could get it open, I carry a smaller purse 
This way I don't have to carry that giant Tumi tote around everywhere. This is good for just like walking around on layovers and another pair of slippers. As you can tell, these are my home slippers. These are my work slippers. I like slippers. I like when my feet are comfortable. And there's one more exterior compartment when I stand the suitcase upright. Uh, in here, I just have big reusable grocery bags. This way I can carry all of the food that I secure on my layovers onto the plane. Because oftentimes I'm given paper bags and those break really easy and that just makes my life that much more convenient. Okay, inside this mesh pocket is kind of a disaster. Um, you can see I have dental floss in there. I have so many different sheet masks. Super convenient for travel. Then I have Q-tips and cotton balls just in a plastic baggie. Uh, looks like I have tea that I stole from a hotel that I never took out of there. I've got some nail polishes because I like to do my nails on layovers and things like that. But also I'll use the inside of this mesh to put dirty socks and dirty undergarments. This way I don't put them back into my bag of clothes. So it helps keep me organized. It makes sense for me. And side note, I'm going to show you my luggage tag. Uh, I love wrestling. And one of my friends made this for me. It's Stone Cold Steve Austin doing his Stone Cold beer double fist drink. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is my initial is not W anymore. I'm married now. So I've got a new last name. But that is my bag tag. I love wrestling. Judge me for it. I don't care. It's something that I just enjoy. Okay, so back to the interior bags. I have a work top bag, and then I have a leisure bag. So as you can see, I have jeans in here. There's a dress in here from a layover. Um, I can open this. I haven't emptied it out yet, and you guys don't really need to see my dirty skivvies, so the camera might cut away. But like I said, I've got jeans. This is just a casual blazer. I've got a bathing suit down there, a little sundress. And what else is rolled up? Another casual blazer. I enjoy wearing blazers. I did wear this as a work top. Again, as you can see, everything's rolled up from my trip. And then the second one, I like to keep my work clothes separate from my layover clothes just because when it's early, I don't have to think about what is where. I can just open what I'm going to wear on the plane or what I'm going to wear for fun. So this is everything that I have. That's how I pack. So a few other packing tidbits for you. I will rewear work pants like two days in a row, sometimes three if it's a really quick flight. So I always have extra tops, extra camisoles, plenty of extra undergarments, and then I wear those stocking socks. So I always have far more of those than I need just in case you never know what's gonna happen. And then I usually bring one extra work top and I have plenty of layover clothes that I can kind of substitute in. So I told you guys I have those casual blazers. I probably could wear those on the plane and get away with it too if we were to be stuck somewhere or they extended our trip and I had to fly passengers and still look professional the next day. So I try to do a mix. I wear a ton of black, uh, both for work because you're cooking on a small airplane and you get dirty and you're serving and there's turbulence and I've spilt food all over myself more times than I can count. But I also wear black in my everyday life so I can kind of do mix and match for layover clothes and work clothes. I didn't show you guys my makeup um, because I just keep the makeup that I use at home every day in the same makeup bag that I take to work every trip. It keeps it easy. It keeps me organized. But I've got a big orange tote that sits on top of my packing cubes full of makeup, moisturizer, that kind of thing. The chargers will either go in my suitcase uh, in with these Ziploc bags for easy access or I'll put those into my Tumi tote. There's no rhyme or reason. I just always make sure when I go through my head that I have makeup and chargers. As long as I have those two things and an outfit on my back, I'm ready to fly. So this video is kind of brief. Uh, I think my follower who asked for this video, her name is Dolly. So if you're watching Dolly, I hope this is helpful to you. Actually, I hope this is helpful to everyone who is watching. If you guys have additional questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns though, post them down below for me. 
Also, I'm going to link down below what's in my Tumi tote. This is a tote I take on every single trip. I know if I have that bag with me, I'm pretty prepared to travel. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the road on my next trip. Thanks again, guys.